All right, man, Tall Guy Car Views back with another video, man. Now, this day is a different kind of day. I'm gonna let Bart just take over. Bart, tell him what we're doing today, man. We're doing something special. Corey told me that you guys really love that orange dart that was up on my hoist. Yep. I make stuff fast, I make it turn, I make it stop. Greg Nelson owns a place called the Mopar Ponderosa. He has approximately 60 cars worth probably $60 million. Damn. Bag. So if you want to be a if you're a high roller and you want to get with a program and you want to have the only one, and I'm talking like the only one when you go to a car show, Ferraris have made 250, you know, Lamborghinis have made 150. You walk in and go, I have the blue one. They made one. Damn. It's here. Damn. So this is all old Mopar stuff. It's the only place I know that you can go and actually look at, touch, feel, and buy a real, authentic, like a used Mopar car lot. Specializes in, in E-bodies, that's Cudas, Challengers. Has a few A-bodies, has wing cars, B-bodies, the old Hemi cars. Probably got 15 or 20 Hemi cars. It's got brand new, you know, a lot of Vipers and yeah. stuff like that. Just kind of yeah, cool Vipers. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah like you guys will get a kick out of this. But the big thing is that for something special, because we talked about this, mm -hmm. We'll get your subscribers. Subscribers can vote on the car they want you guys to review. Ooh. And we'll make Greg take it out with you. You hear that, three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you guys got to subscribe, put it in there, figure it about May 15th, gives them enough time to look yep. through the videos, pick out which car they want to play with. Kind of I below, think the only one that's off limits. Is that $5 million dollar one? 71 Hemi Cuda convertible four speed numbers match. That's matching. the one I wanted. Numbers I, I knew it. And it's, it's up for sale. I think he wants $5.5 million for it. That's Damn. Right. That's just oh, okay. just a, little pick, a few pennies, huh? I thought you were going to say something like 7.7. .7. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. With his double digits and stuff. We're getting the 10s and all that. Okay. So we're going to start out. He has three. This is just in Prior Lake, Minnesota. Nice, quiet little spot. You're going to get your, if you're into old Mopars, you're going to get your mind bent. My favorite is here. It's a 57 DeSoto black and gold convertible with a matching 57 boat. Damn. It's, it's humorous. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's humorous. Damn, that yeah. is, that's Everybody crazy. should have a matching black and gold. Come on, Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to start you out in the lower end. The tan building is filled up with probably 25 cars all starting at like... That one right there for yeah. for the people who are colorblind. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, okay. Man, so, yeah. Yeah. so we're going to start you out there, look around, take a bunch of film. I don't know how many things are going to break up, but you guys are going to see stuff that you wouldn't see anywhere else. It makes Bear Jacks look like a freaking... Bozo show. Oh this man, real stuff is here. You're gonna see it all here. Okay, and what's in that one right there? These are the cars that start at about, uh, I think they're like hundred thousand to half a million. So the cheap stuff. Yeah, the inexpensive. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Let's call it mid-price stuff. Mid there's, there's several Hemi um, wing cars in there and Hemi Cudas. He's got the only black with white billboard four-speed seventy-one Hemi Cuda ever built in there. He's got a Charger just Damn, for you. You know what I love? Black That's 69. 69. Yep. Hell yeah. Four-speed. Damn, yeah. that'd be crazy. I need something like that. Three. When I get the bag back, I gotta get something like that. But I, this right here, hundred thousand. It's crazy how hundred. You could say hundred thousand yeah. dollars, and it sounds so cheap in comparison. When you're talking about a five point five million dollar Hemi. Come on, man, that's crazy. The unique stuff about these cars with Greg, you'll always know what you're getting. He'll verify everything for you. You can have inspected. He knows the guys. Matching numbers, all that. Everything. He'll lay it all out for his all the build sheets. All the numbers, the whole thing. So when you buy one of these cars, they've been going up in price between 10 and 15 percent a year. Damn. So you can buy one. The only cars that that's yeah. the only cars that appreciate with value, that's right? Yeah, biggest, yep. biggest, and he will investment. he will make you a deal just because if you buy a car, you keep it the way it is. If you want to trade up to the next level, he'll give you your money back what you paid for the car. Oh, on damn. The next level up. Oh, damn. So that way you don't lose any money. Now if you smash into a little ball, that's a bigger problem. Call you Greg know, the bag man. Now, well, yeah. Remember, all these cars are inexpensive, really inexpensive to insure. I mean, you can have a $500,000 car, and you can insure it for about $1,500 a year. Damn. Yeah, because they're like collectors. Because they know you're not going to drive that damn thing. Yeah, they expect you not to be on a snowstorm like yeah. you were with your white car. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> it got stuck in the snow. Everybody go watch that video, man. Yeah, so and then what they got in here? That's the... Barracuda Boulevard. That, the big dog Yeah, stuff. that's where the... the 5.5 million the Hemi Cuda. Drug dealer car. Okay. Drug dealer car, because the first guy that bought it... First guy that bought it was a drug dealer. Yup, right? thanks. So the, so the name is fitting. Huh? It's Pablo Escobar. Okay. It's Pablo Escobar. Greg knows the name. He's got files <laughs> and paperwork on every car. Yeah, we need you to beat can that see dude, it all. So he has all the history there. Yeah. Boom. So that barn is completely filled up with what they call NOS, new old stock parts. He's been collecting parts from dealerships and stuff forever. Cuda fenders, charger fenders. All that. Engines. Everything is all packed in there. So when he does restorations or if you find something that needs a part, uh, weird stuff like he had a guy that needed a 71 Hemi Cuda um, 
starter, little, there's a little plastic or a little steel piece that goes over a starter for heat shield. Yeah. Guy paid him four grand. Damn. For a little piece. Wow. Well, they only made it, okay, so let's put it this way. 1971, they made exactly 108 Hemi Kudas. Two per state, that's all. Yep. There's Damn. less than 75 left in the world. The rest are all crushed, gone, little pieces. So you think that over. So the chance that you go into a car show anywhere, yeah. yeah. You got one of the ones that's got like a weird pedigree to it and stuff like that. Like, wait to see the skunk car. We call it the skunk car. It's this black car with a big white billboard on it. It says, it says Hemi on it. It's the only one they built that way. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, so this is le we in a legendary spot, man. That's oh, what y'all got to know. This is, we, come on, man. It's <laughs> big legendary. You got a crash. Is that a crashed up charger? Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's just a beat up charger. It's got sitting around. They pulled parts off. A roadrunner that got zinged into a tree. They Blue one. Here. What's that one up there? Pink, Hemi Cuda? Pink double, yeah, pink double AR Cuda. They made uh, pink FM3 uh, for 1970 April only. Mm -hmm. Four tenths of one percent. Damn. See that, that Cuda right there we're going to look at? The orange one? Yep. Look at that one first because that's unique. They made 17... 71 Hemi or 71 446 pack triple carburetor convertibles. Wow, that's and it's this only, one that's the only one that's not restored. Wow, yeah, yeah, that's this one right here. That's that one with stuff sitting on. <laughs> that's a good touch, Greg. Yeah, yeah. that's a good touch on there, man. <laughs> only one that ain't restored, huh? That's it. Everybody else put money in. You can have that one for what 400 grand, Greg. So, or something like that. He said, round it off every hundred thousand. This is Greg. Greg, go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Greg Nelson. Nice to meet you. This is his spot right here. Yeah. And that's Bart's wife. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, what's going on, Bart? He's a rich man, Bart. <laughs> so these little, these little convertibles like this, all these little cars and things are well into the 80 to 100,000. The root beer barrel just came in. Greg's been working on the paint. He bought this from the original owner. Mm. So this is, what do you want for this thing? Because this would be a great car for a starter. 59,000. Yep, 59 grand. Uh, pennies, huh, Greg? Well, this oh, is this I, I've already owned a car. <laughs> 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 Over here, we got a... We got Plymouth Roadrunner? Road 70 Roadrunner, only one I've ever heard of. It's a convertible. You see how I knew that three before it even said something? You see how yeah, you know I know this. Yeah. Yeah. So this, this car, yeah, this is the only car I've seen coded. Black car, black stripe. Black interior, black top. Damn. The only one. Wow. So this, this, is, this is a cool deal. They ain't got no trumpets when you were repairing. They ain't got nothing to do with it. When you unveil the car, when you it's pull all the stuff off it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on in and take a, I don't know if you can get enough light in here to take a picture, but this car is ready to rock and roll. Yeah. This, wow. thing, this thing is premium killer car. It's um, oh, crazy. Nice. No, there isn't a It looks brand new. It is. Kind of, well, it's been redone. Yeah, it looks, so it this looks is a great good. car for somebody to start out with 55000 bucks. And once again, Greg takes trades back in. Mm. If you like to try some, start off. You got a whole so fleet of stuff in stuff here. Packed back in, but let's go. Let's step up a notch. Let's okay, let's, let's go. Some, some good stuff, huh, Bart? Yeah, let's, let's get into a little bit more excitement over here. You'll get a kick out of this. We're going to go up one level to the red shed, we call it. The red shed. The red shed. With the scat pack bumblebee on That's how you know it's legendary. Yeah, you got to, you know what I'm saying? The red shed, got the blood shed, the 40s car. <laughs> you got a big ticket blood over. It's signed yeah. to Illuminati to yeah. get this kind of stuff. See this, see this. Yeah. You just mentioned the burnout area. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah. That's oh, the burnout area. Burnout area? Oh, okay. That's that's what it is. Okay. Burnout Boulevard. There you go, right there. Oh, damn. Look at this. God. Oh, that's right. It's hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Big leveled up. What does that look like? That's like my dream muscle, old school muscle demon, car right here, bro. Name, oh, that's a demon, ain't it? Damn, make it look like just yeah, not Greg, as cool. Greg, Greg is, would probably reluctantly sell that for like 135. Oh, it's man. Sticker, but they're not making another one. It's Infernal Red. Take a look. It's ready to rock and roll. No mind. That's crazy. Money. He got to sit in here like he a dealership for real. Yeah. You all see this, man? <laughs> he just got to sit here. That's how you live in life, Greg? Greg, have, you ain't ticket around the block one time? Oh, it didn't snow. Oh, it snow. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. Got a demon just sitting in his garage. This must be right here, though, bro. That one right here. I knew you were going to hook up on that charger. Right I need something like that. Yeah, well, that's, this is going to be like my old school build. When I get one, Greg, it's going to be like an old school one like this. So, 
That's the only old school project car I ever get is like a 69, 70 Charger. That's about as good as it's going to get for me as far as the old schools. Build it up, make it something crazy, man. See, see all the documents? Big documentation. Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's the most important thing on a car. Everything's got to match all the documents, build sheet, original owners, titles going back. That gives verification to the car. Crazy. Oh, damn. If you know the guy who bought it, when he bought it, what dealership he bought it from, it's gold. Damn. Yeah. And that's gold. So that's, that's a brick of gold right there for those who don't know. Actually, what color is that bar? Is that Curious Yellow? Yeah. Curious Yellow? That's the name of the color. The wife knows her stuff. Look at her. She yeah. know. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah, she got me that. hooked on Mopars early. I've known Greg now for like 25, going on 30 years uh, now. Yeah. Wow. Part, part like Bart like Corvettes before that. I did. I had a Corvette uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Huh? Okay, went Bart. To, went to the dark side. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's big hard right there. Look at that. That's really like heavy. From that demon, they got thumbnail mook. That's the thumbnail mook, the demon? For one of them. Yeah, you're right. That's hard, right? He still got the plastic on the top of that yeah, thing. Miles Zero miles. So this is when it ran off the truck straight in here, huh? Four miles. Four miles? Okay. We're going to round it off to zero. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's the closest to 10 or zero? Zero. We're going to say zero. <laughs> then what's this one over here? I've seen that one in movies. Superbird. Superbird. All, all you guys, if you're out there in Hollywood doing your thing, Greg will rent these cars out as long as they're not touched. He can go along and I can go along too and Penny wants to go too. Okay, and they got to pay it back, huh, Greg? They got to pay some of this, huh? <laughs> yeah, he said, you see him, you say, he said, oh yeah, you got to, you got to pay that back. <laughs> so this is what they call the wing cars. They were designed oh, to go to NASCAR. Yep. This is a 1970. Plumes. With the beep beep on the back. Yep. With the magic toy. Got the, got yep. the, big, got the big wing on the back. It's okay if I open this one. Right? Right. Right. So we got Watch out for the little yeah, 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 Dang, that's crazy. So that's an all original, it was a restored car, but it's a numbers matching, ready to rock and roll. One of 135 built. Man, that's nuts. The yep. most audacious muscle car ever. I like that little touch I like that burger, you like that banana burger. <laughs> <laughs> I drove one of those, Greg. My guy Daryl, he has one of these. Yeah, this is the one I drove. It was a four speed too, right? Yeah. Yeah, I drove one of these. And I did a review. 71 Hemi Cootie, yep. It was green though, with the, and the Hemi right here was all black. It was legendary. My guy, his name is Daryl. Yep. You know? Yep. I have no idea. It was, it was green though, in black. I don't know. You know, but it was dope. So I liked it for sure. This is the good name to King B. Black on black. 426 had me. 425 horses designed to go racing. Steel wheels. We call them poverty caps. Mm. Coolest way to go on this stuff. This is nice. Greg doesn't want to sell this one, but for a quarter million, he probably twist his arm. For, for a quarter million, he might start to think about it, huh? See, he's on 270 already. 270, okay, yeah. So maybe 300,000 to even get you out the bed, huh? Yeah, maybe. I said 300,000, he said, maybe I might get out the bed. Yeah, <laughs> Look across that thing. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, that is dope. The water wave. Yeah, that's hard. Damn. Yeah, that's hard. It's really good with pain. Yeah, that's, that is crispy. I ain't never seen no car like that with the paint like that in my life. Yeah, that's crazy, right? You smoked the game with that. Even on the bottom, you can see it right there. Yeah, yeah you told me about to always check the bottoms because people don't do that good right there because you can't see that good right there. Right down the bottom of that one, it's absolutely perfect. Yeah, that's that's why it's nuts. That's that's nuts. Yeah, that's right. Like hard. He smoked the game with that with the matte black shirt. Right what? Yeah, that's right nuts. Right through that door. Right here? This one here? Man, shout out oh, to Daryl, man. Oh, 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 damn. Oh, yeah, you killed the game in here, Greg. <laughs> Whoa, look at that green, though. All ACRs, too, ain't they? Yo, they're all ACRs. And what the hell is this? That's, that's a 69 and a half M code car, they call it. It's a 440 plus six with Zion Gold Racing. The hood lifts off this way. That's called lift off hood cars. Came only this way. With steel wheels, no covers, just little lug nuts on it. Oh, okay. It was designed for people to go out and just beat the crap out of it. All ACR Vipers, too. That was a Hellcat back then, Greg? This was. This was a Hellcat was back in this day? Just ready to go racing. That's just ready to go. Just, right from the factory, cheap, just... Cheap, cheap, fast car back yeah. in 69. Damn, Big gold, okay. Lots of carburetors, cheaper than a Hemi by about 7 800 bucks. Yeah. Damn. <clears throat> that was a lot back then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the ACRs, bro. That's crazy. You thought about getting a new one, Greg? The new ACRs? I don't know. I can buy two of these for one of those. Damn, you got a valid point there, though. You're right. <laughs> He's smart. See, that's a numbers man right there. Damn. No, he killed the game. He got a Hellcat sitting over here like it's nothing, though. You put the supercharged word up there, or did you st you take that from the side? You see us? No, see, but the first ones they built, they had the supercharger on the side instead of the Hellcat logo. 
Yeah, that's the one car where I really be knowing that stuff because I was really big time into getting a Hellcat for sure. Yeah. So I knew that much. It's the original Dodge Demon? Yep, 340 car. That's the one that the uh, Bible Belt people got all bent out of shape and made them change the name after two years. For real? Uh -huh. Damn, so back then it really mattered what the names you had for cars. Damn, that's crazy. So is this is this worth more than a demon since it's older? Is it worth more? He bought like 30 grand. He bought it. They're inexpensive. That's a great starter car. Gold's really good. Oh, it's just a starter car. Yeah, well, that's, they sell for 20 to 30, maybe 40 for a high option four speed. Damn, that's crazy. The budget with not this demon that's out now. That definitely ain't the budget with. <laughs> it was crazy. Who signed this car? A bunch of Viper techs. That, wow. This car is in Detroit, so the guy knew all the guys that worked on Vipers that had them all signing. Man, that is nuts. Pure carbon fiber. I like the new ACRs though. They look super dope. They're cool. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like, I got, I got ten of them. <laughs> look at that. This is nice Hellcat right here, man. That's, that's nice with that color. Time, you drive this one all the time? Yeah. That's oh. an everyday driver. Just oh, like that's what you just drive. Hey, around. did you get pulled over with that exhaust? Nope, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Nope, not yet. Really loud. Yeah. Oh, he got the red interior on this one right here, three. I'll rock with the red, but the I white. The white. I gotta go with the red. I'm just dripping the sugar roll. No, that's crazy. That's the, the, the real challengers right here, bro. Yeah, this is a 440 California car cool. with the red interior that was original. That's it drives. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, that's heavy. Hey, you ride around this, ain't no question. This is the most respected the life. Rules. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> GT500 right here. Oh, that's that's Eleanor type almost. Is it Eleanor though? No. No, okay. But it's something like Eleanor. So is it slightly below or slightly above? Oh, it's less money than a real Eleanor, but it's, right. I think it's a quarter million. Pay two fifty for this, or what do you pay for? Maybe one forty-five. All right, well, it's cheaper. Than we go, we gonna round, we gonna round it off to a quarter million. No, like, we like to round it off. It's a four. <laughs> uh, you take a quarter million, yeah, right? You will. <laughs> so, that's nice, though. So yeah, that's uh, so here. Two favorites of mine that this, this red one thing, convertible fifty-seven eight. eight. Okay, and that one's up for sale, and you want. 79. 79 for that. <laughs> this is my ultimate favorite. This one right here, DeSoto. Picture of it with the boat DeSoto. on the back. Oh. It's 20 feet long. Oh, that's the one with the magic boat. Whoa. Yeah, Look at the white walls and all that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they got a matching boat right there. Look. Yeah. <laughs> that's crispy. So the boat comes Where's the from? boat at, Greg? In the other shed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Greg got about 50 sheds, man. Look, you got the boat. You got the car matching. This is Bart's favorite, man. This is my favorite. This is 20 feet of, oh my God, metal out of Detroit. <laughs> uh, go down the this is hard. miles an hour and get about 9 MPG and don't care. Facts. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at all that room in there, though. Oh, yeah. That's nuts. Like people have so many kids in the 50s. <laughs> you said so many kids in the 50s? Yeah, the back. That's when they were just rocking out, huh, Greg? They didn't live, man. Look. Worries, <laughs> nope. You just, you just, just get it popping. <laughs> Get the trunk. That's why they always call these old school, but they always measure them off dead bodies in the back. Cause look how big that trunk is, man. That's insane. That's bigger than most SUVs right now, for sure. Bart, you wouldn't be scared to drive this thing around, man? He's gonna go on vacation one day to his place, Phoenix, and this thing is gonna be out for the weekend. Damn. I just gotta make sure I can handle the issues that come up later. Yeah. <laughs> you go look at the big dog cars? Now? Yeah. Oh, this ain't the big dog? Damn, that's crazy. It shows us how little like the big dog. Because you don't know what's going on. Either. Yeah, this is big legendary to me. <laughs> Yeah. How many is this? 20 ACR convertibles, one year, one time. One of 20. Yeah. Just sitting well, right there. The Viper guys didn't know they make them. Just got sitting there like a Honda Accord, huh, Greg? <laughs> Must be nice, my man. <laughs> I won't drive. That's like 16 miles on. You won't drive that one? No. 16 miles, man. If y'all want to buy it, hit them up. So. <laughs> how do the people buy the cars from you, though? So if somebody's watching this on my video and they want to buy a car from you, how would they do that? Uh, like, is it website? Website. website. What's your website? Mopar Ponderosa. Okay. Dot com. Dot com. Okay, where do y'all go? 952446 pack. Oh, hey, okay. 46722. <laughs> you wanna buy these cards? You wanna drop a bag? Huh? You know who to talk to. You know what you could do though? You could get one of the like build up cards and you could just holler straight at Bart. What's your number, Bart? 763 nine or nine. Nine, oh, my bad. You guys are calling me. Nine zero eight eight. I know. You know, it's crazy. When I put it in my video and I got it popping up on the screen, uh, I, I said, or got him saying it so much, I literally memorized his number. Ain't that crazy? Let's go look at the 
big dogs. That's your boat right there? Yeah, that's big ass boat. That's Where your airplanes at? Damn, Bart. Going to the airplane. Not airplanes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Bart's barge. Bart's barge? <laughs> <laughs>